Okay, today we'll start massing and scythe in Revit, right? So I just opened Revit, so I will go new and uh, select a template and create a new file. So metric architectural template will take and just create a new file. Uh, massing and scythe we use to create for multi-story buildings, right? Because it provides us the automatic uh, floors, the roofs, and also the wall design itself. So I can say in other words, the massing is the mass is just like invisible stru structure, we can say, all right? We can design it, then we can just apply the doors, uh, the walls and the roof as well. So how to start it? You will go to the mass and site. We recommend also if you want to design the mass, you can go to the site level from here. We got in the site level, you see everything, every floor also. But we can design also level one. I will show you all the methods. So I'll go to the site here and let's create first of all our first mass. So you will go mass and site here and click in place mass means I'm going to create inside my project. Okay. Uh, here if you click here, so it will ask you also I'm going to show the mass floors, right? Because if you will not click here, so you need to just check this option, show mass forms and the floors, right? Just click here. Then in place mass, then it will ask you the name of the mass. You can give any name. Click OK. Then it will be open in another mode. And then here we are inside in uh, creation mass. So here you have to click on the model because I'm going to create a model. So click here. Then you need to choose the option where you are going to draw the model. Either you are going to draw the mass on the face or you are going to draw uh, on a work plane. I will choose a work plane because I'm going to draw here so now you are ready to create your mass first mass design i will create first of all the simple mass i will take the rectangle and just make a rectangle like that after making the rectangle do not forget to create a form with this rectangle whatever shape you will create then you have to convert that shape into the form when you click on the form so that uh, the rectangle is being created into the form now your mass is ready how I can see it, you can go to the 3D view, then here it will display your mass like that. This is the mass, invisible, the geometry, the field is solid form, we can say also. Uh, click here, then here we can go shade it, then it will represent like that. So mass has its own uh, properties, all right, we can apply. Now you can see it has its own height, custom height also. Uh, to fix them into a specific level, so we need to create more levels. Okay, do not finish it until you uh, uh, you have completed your objective. So what I will do, I will just finish it. For example, let's see, we can edit it again. I will finish it. Now it's done. Your mask is created, but it still we have on level two. So you can just restrict to level two also like this. Why we are uh, going to level two? Because we are. Uh, going to apply the floors according to the level present now we have only two levels so we can also place the floor and roof on two levels let's see if you have only two levels you can go any elevation like this this is the elevation and you can just you can take it to the level two now i have level one and level two only go to 3d view like that if you click on the mass and here you have mass floors when you click on the mass floor, then it will ask you on which mass floors you want to apply. I want to apply on level 1 and level 2 both and click OK. So still, because we have only one level and here it will not apply flow because we do not have level 3. So one floor being applied. So still it's a part of the mass floor. It's not the physical. So if you want to apply the physical floor, physical roof and physical wall, then you will select this one and you will go mass and site and here we have the four properties we have the curtain system we have roof wall and the floor first of all i want to apply the floor click here floor and choose the type of the floor from here then select the floor all the levels you have and create floor so it will create auto floor like that nice if you want to create a wall so also you can go mass inside you can click wall and just click on the face this is actually complete face Click here, the wall is created. Click here, the wall is created like that. Here, I want to apply the curtain system. Go here, uh, mass and side, curtain system. Click here, then click so the curtain system will be applied. And when you click on create system, look at this. 
So this is curtain system. Now if you want to apply the roof, so you will go to again mass and side and here you can apply also the roof and select the roof and click create a roof like that. Now you see your one level, the, the plan is ready. Hmm? Uh, let's see, I want to create a multi-story building, right? And with a custom design or with another design. So how I will do that? For that purpose, you can delete it. If not, we will create another mass, okay? But before creating any mass, you need to create levels. So I'll go to the level, like east level, and I want to add more levels, okay? Go to architecture, tab, click on the levels here. Hmm? Then I will choose this pick line method, click here, and how much the offset you need. Again, I will give 4000 millimeter and just click here. Be careful, you are clicking on upward direction, okay? So I will click, for example, uh, 10 levels like 10 story building I want to create so we have like 9 then 10 all right now you can extend this also but I will not extend this one all right I will create an other uh, building so you can go to the site then we can create also here no problem again I'll go mass and site then I will click in place mass and click ok and model then on the reference plane work plane click here now you can design any design of a building. For example, I will take the line command and let's see if you have another custom design. You can just make like that. And you can continue an arc. You can take an arc from here like that. Maybe you have the design, kind of design of a building like that. All right, like this. Then again, you can take the line command and you can continue like this. All right. For example, you have the building style like this. Okay, so this building I'm going to create. So this shape I have drawn. After drawing the shape, do not forget to create form, right? Once the form is created, then only the building is ready. Let's see what will happen now. If you are going to finish, it's not created yet. Why? Because we haven't selected the boundary. If you go to 3D and you will see it's not ready. It will happen many times with you, right? So you need to make sure you have selected all the lines first, then you created the form. This mistake you will do many times. I will do undo again. For example, I'll go back here and I will finish it like that. So this is uh, like complete boundary. I have made it. Take modify tool and select this whole geometry. Hmm? Once the whole geometry is uh, selected, then create a form. So you have to wait until you get like this shape. As you will get this filled solid shape means you have created your mass. Now you can go to 3D and you can just take it to what level you want. Uh, now you can finish it, no problem. I will go to the east level and here I can select the height or any other level I can go and I can check from where I can take it. So select this one, for example, here and you can take it uh, like this, all right? So you can take it to what level you want height like this, okay? Now you can see the invisible uh, geometry is created. Now I have to apply the mass floors, all right? The floors will come according to the levels you have created. So I'll click on the building, then the mass floors like this, then select all the levels with the shift key, click OK, then look at this, OK? So it will come as the levels you have. Let me change the level height, for example, and the floor will change or no? Look at this. The floor is automatically changing also. Look at this. Hmm? So basically, it will apply floor according to the level available, OK? So now our building is ready with the floors and the, the geometry. And now it's time to apply physical floors and physical uh, walls and curtain system. Select this one, then click mass and side. Then you will choose from here, first of all, curtain system. Then you can select where you want to apply the curtain system. The face is the complete face you will select like that. Then you will create system. You need to click here. Once you click the create curtain system been created, all right, then you can come to this side. And here also I want to apply, then create curtain system. Here I want solid wall, then again go mass and side wall. By the way, you can select from here which wall you want to apply, then click here, so wall been created, all right. So all sides, you can choose where you want to apply the wall and where you want to apply the curtain system, all right, like this. Now you can see your complete building is ready. Now you want to apply the roof, so you can go to mass and site, click on the roof, and you can click here and create the roof. Roof is created. All right. 
now you can see your multi-story building is ready hmm? if you want to edit any floor okay and maybe the any the plan you want to create you can create no problem you can go to the level one this is the level one hmm? for example if you are going to uh, design it you can for example we have walls like this okay you can create the walls like this you can also apply the doors if you want to apply so we have the doors also like this okay like this you can apply no problem and you can also apply the windows later you can copy on all floors so what i will do i will select it you can select with the control key for multiple selection like this okay and also i will select the door then use the copy command from here not this copy co you have to do copy to clipboard then select from here then you have to paste before pasting you need to make sure the walls are uh, the height it's unconnected so it will go more than the level so first connect to level two all right i draw on the level one you can see then it's connected to level two this one also you all walls you need to connect to level two so that when you copy it will be same same so with the control now i will select all the walls and this then uh, copy to clipboard then paste align to selected levels and here you will choose on all i want to paste on level from 2 to level 9 click ok now you will see the magic it's all the walls been pasted on every floor look at this very nice right now if you want to apply stairs also same way you can use you can go to the level one you can leave the space for the stairs then you can create the stairs you can copy paste to leave this space for the stairs or opening we say we use a shaft key click here shaft you can draw with any i will just use the rectangle so this is going to be my openings for the stairs click here then where to want to connect i want to connect it level to, uh, 10 now if you go to 3d so all it's open look at this okay so it's open now so you can also open actually shaft is used to open your floor roof ceiling so it will open that space so this wall you have to just connect it to level 10 all right so so it will be connected to level 10 also or whatever levels you have or you can just decrease the size okay so that's how you can also create uh, you can do the multiple now let's see how we can create a twist tower right how we can blend the shapes itself so i'll go to level one again all right let's create for example some shapes let me delete that one so that file will not be heavy so i will select like this and i will delete this both buildings let me check on the site and the 3d some the floor we have let me delete this one also let's see how we will create the twist tower or how we can blend the shapes all right to blend the shape you have to create the shape each shape on each floor then we will create a form with them we will blend them what i do i will go to the site level or level one so this is level one you can draw the site uh, shape mass and site in place mass okay then the model and the work plane hmm? now you need to create any shape uh, from here i can create the polygon click here all right here the sides you can define uh, how much sides you need each side and i will click like that okay first of all like this hmm? so one shape we have created now do not finish it and do not create form i need uh, this shape at many floors so select this one and like this and then go to copy i can go to the 3d then it will be easy for me to see so i'm on the level one you can see then i will go to copy uh, copy to clipboard then here the paste option align to select the level so i will paste on the level five then i will paste on the level 10 two levels and click ok look at this hmm? then you can rotate this one so one by one you can rotate little bit click here then you have here rotate tool so you can rotate this shape like that all right so little bit you can rotate now it's time to blend them all to create a form select like this all and create form that's it so simple your building is ready all right now you can finish it now the rest process is the same mass floor select all levels then apply everything you want look at this then again mass and size. select the floor first select this one and create and it's created 
Then again, mass inside, go to curtain system. You can click the curtain system like that. All right. Here, so whatever's the side you want to create, you can create. Look at this. Nice. The, hmm? Create system. So you will see in that you can create the whole city, right? In a few minutes, you can create many design. Hmm? Now let's see that how you blended the shape. Let's see if you want to bring some drawing over the from the internet and you want to draw over it, right? You want to draw the Burj Al Khalifa or another building. I can draw also that. So I'll go to the site and I will bring one design from the internet or the layout or the floor plan. Then I will draw over it. So how to bring it? So I will go to insert. I will bring the design and I will click on import image. Okay. Import image and you have to uh, uh, download and you have to just import it. So I have downloaded. I'll go to the, my uh, download folder and here I will check where I have downloaded and I will import and I will draw over it. So this was in the design. So let's see. I want to create this design. Okay. So you have uh, brought it this one. I am on the side plan. So just pin it. Pin mean it will be locked. It will not move. Then you have to make first the shape. You can draw in the mask, but we don't recommend. We we will draw the first here. Then we will just create the mask from the footprints from the 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 lines. I go to architect. I will use these simple lines. Uh, model lines and to draw the model all right then what i will do i will just many options are there i will use this line and just draw over it like that all right simple line i will draw like this like this all right very nice click here and the click here now i want the the arc so click here arc and you can make the arc also all right like this and then here click a simple line till here then I want again arc. You can click arc, and from here arc like this. Nice. Then you need a straight line like this. So very nice. You can create just the layout. Later you can fix it also. Now the boundary is created. All right. Now you can delete this image also, or you can hide it. I will just delete it after unpin. Just delete it. So we have the layout, right? We have the 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 outline, the boundary. Now I want to create my building up with the with this boundary. How to do it? Let's go. Maybe you think you uh, you brought it, it this outline from AutoCAD, right? Then we can pick lines also. You brought it this outline from another software, no problem. Then you will go to uh, again mass and site, all right? Then the same in place mass, and they give the mass name then model, right? Then you will choose work plane. Only the difference is I will not draw it. I will just pick lines. Here is one trick you need to if you want to select all connected lines together, press one time tab key and click. Okay, one time tab key press, then select all lines will be selected, and you have to wait until the form is not created. Once the form is created, means you have done the wonderful job. Now you will see here. Wow. All right. Now you can take it till which level you want to extend it. Look at this. Your tower is ready. Look. Nice. The rest process is the same. Select this all floors and just apply the floor like that. Look at this. Very nice. Right? So any shape you can bring and you can apply also on that shape. You can create the shape as well. Okay. So now by using this method. Just uh, go and try the different methods of creating building and try to create the whole city. Okay, do it.